what's going on beautiful people it's time to clean the suckers right here all right they don't look that bad but i like clean soles so i'm going to focus on that today and clean them today um what am i using well you all know about the big four already that i uh, picked up from amazon this right here leather conditioner that does not darken the leather when you apply it i'm going to use saddle soap to clean it i'll use this brush to clean it toothbrush for the white part like the uh, stitching and then of course rags to clean it dry it off and then i have me the magic eraser because <laughs> I think that works for the soles and of course some greeny weenies in case I need it. I'm outside because it's nice out and I think it's, it's perfect right here. You can see what I'm doing. So without further ado, here we go. All right. It is kind of windy today, but I think we'll be fine here. I'll make sure that you can see that very well, the before. I think the bottom, the top, I like the vintage, you know, patina look right there. I'm not going to change that. You know what I mean? But I think the bottom needs a lot of cleaning, that's for sure. And I like to tell stories. So the first thing, of course, is get this uh, leather laces off. Now, I am going to replace it. I'm going to try and clean it. Hopefully it doesn't get stiff, but I'm going to try and clean this just with the saddle soap and then treat it also to see if it gets smoother again. Um, the reason why I want to change is because it doesn't look sturdy. You know, it looks like it's about ready to break. And I haven't ordered a new one from Red Wings. I think this is like $20 or $25 to purchase this. But it's all good. We'll do that. So first things first, we're just going to wipe it down and get some of these surface dirt out. Just a little bit of water there. And we'll go straight to this. And it's nice and warm and sunny. So definitely perfect time to do it. You know, I watched this ASMR video from uh, I can't remember his name anyways. But he's so good at it. <laughs> Same, a little bit part at a time. So we'll start in the back here, just in case the color changes. Get right inside there. Dry it right away. I can feel the gunk coming off of it for sure. It's beautiful out here today. Lots of birds out 
making beautiful sounds. I received a uh, comment on my reveal of these boots. You all know about this from eBay. And a gentleman had commented saying that you need to go get the 875, Red Wing 875, because you're missing out. And couldn't help but giggle because I have been trying to get one. I just don't want to pay the 200 60 or whatever, $270 to purchase one right now. Uh, so I'm waiting for the right opportunity. I've seen a couple on sale, uh, go on sale on eBay, my size, but still around $220 plus shipping. Might as well buy a brand new one if that's the case. But I guess I just probably need to be quit being cheap ass and go ahead and buy it. But, for now, I am satisfied with my 1907. I love this color, by the way. I don't have one of these yet. This is supposed to be uh, rough and tough, just like my Iron Ranger. But, looks like they used something that darkened the leather. Uh, when they cleaned it the first time around or whatever they used to to clean it or but um, I like the color I'm only focusing on the top part here a little bit on the heels or the soles but I am not cleaning the soles yet because I'm gonna get to that separately I really just want to get the gunk off of it. And the saddle soap does a great job of doing that. You know, I don't know what the gentleman did, but it, it, it protected it. It's just that it was really slick when I got it the first time. Like he just poured oil into this thing or something. <laughs> No, but it, that's, I guess, the protection it needed because now that it's coming off, it looks really good. Looks really good. There's really not a wrong way and the right way. The wrong way is getting it wet. Uh, and leaving it wet. That's the wrong way. Get the saddle soap in there quickly, get it out, and then let it dry and then we'll apply we'll apply the conditioner. There's some paint paint splatter. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll just leave it alone. I don't want to scratch it. Part of the patina. As long as she looks clean, I think she'll be alright. Nice and windy out here. Inside the tongue. I don't know if you can hear that. Certainly you can hear the wind and the birds, I'm pretty sure. But it's the beginning of summer, so all the birds are out enjoying themselves much like I am it's hot but it's not too hot perfect time okay. <clears throat> I think the top looks good now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move to the cleaning the soles here to see if we can get that white <sighs> okay guys I tried this a little bit on one of the spots and it cleaned it really well, but I think it needs a little bit more elbow grease. So I'm gonna try right here. I'm gonna try the greeny weenie with some saddle soap. 
to see if that works and it should work that's what its job is this is usually the heels where you drive so it's very much out of shape you know when you're driving this is where you rub on the carpet or whatever you got on your car that's why it's dirty like that some guys like it to keep it dirty um, I don't I actually like it clean so that even though I'm working on greasy areas if you keep it clean and just clean it all the time it looks it looks good I think that works right if you can see that yeah I think it worked right there while I'm doing that the top is drying so not a problem at all yeah keep on going keep on going Then what we'll do is maybe after this, we'll run the magic eraser to finish the rest. We'll see. But I think she's looking good. Probably better than before. <laughs> so I'm out here talking to my camera as I'm doing this, and my neighbors probably think I'm freaking losing my mind until they find out that I make videos <laughs> it's funny I do that all the time like I'm out and about and just start talking to the camera and everybody's looking at me like I've lost my mind either that or probably thinking man who's this famous guy I'm not that famous not yet anyways oh that works out really well guys I love it I'm not aspiring it to be super white, but just clean. Clean enough, it looks good. So while I'm doing this, as I scroll into Pinterest, and I'm going to make another separate video for this, but am I the only one that's getting a feed from cultism? That term cultism? Uh, I research it, there's nothing much about it except for there is a website that sells clothes and it says that it's, you know, since 2004 they've been making specially made clothes um, but in, on Pinterest when that thing comes up cultism comes up it's about you know denim denim wear and I love it you know but I don't want to brand myself you know I, I am just a guy that's rugged likes my jeans and my t-shirt in my boots that's it i don't know what what else why is there a special term uh, because if i go to the website anyways that's not the kind of wear clothes i want to wear see i told you i'm going to talk all the way but on the second boots i'll probably just work on it and not talk so much but i am very happy with the way this thing worked out i'm not going to clean the very bottom of the boots right here because there's no sense of doing that I will wear this boots again right away especially now that it's nice and clean anyways I like showing it to you the way I clean it in hopes that you can use this information 
for your own down the road and we can all clean our boots just like the way that looks Isn't that cool nice and clean just like I want it yeah oh yeah I'll leave that alone it's good to go let it dry and then we're starting the other one other side okay as you can tell this one needs some cleaning of course but I want to show it to you maybe I'll use that as my before and after picture and how dirty that bottom is the top is not bad at all some patina to it scratches but that's how it's supposed to be the inside is not bad also it smells good in there actually thank God that the previous owner took care of it because that's part of taking a risk when you're buying something new or something used from eBay Okay, I don't know what to do with this, but I will just run it through a couple of passes on using the saddle soap. And see what happens. to get some gunk off of it I think I'll probably just replace this not worth messing with it too much <laughs> it'll probably break okay I will not mess with it time to replace all right friends big more Big more quality products since 1882. Leather conditioner. Cl conditions, cleans, polishes, and protects. Will not darken the leather. Always check for color, for color fastness and a hidden error before using. If item is very dirty, clean with Big One leather cleaner. We use the saddle soap. Then apply Big Four liberally with a cloth. Let dry and buff. Repeat as necessary. Do not use on suede, rough out, or napped leathers. Of course. Whatever. We'll put that in and see what happens. 
Now, I love using my fingers to apply something like this and that's what we'll be doing today just my fingers then we'll let it dry and we'll buff it start in the back just in case it goes any crazy colors Ooh, nice and sticky white liberal <laughs> not sparingly but liberal Let's see what happens here Bobby says don't do that but that's what we do leather conditioner interesting is that I don't think there's any difference between this and the kiwi lotion that I'm using they feel the same smells different <laughs> and I hope it works good I'm sure it will put a little bit on the tongue here make sure the tongue is nice and soft Inside, outside. How do you take care of boots? Just like this, guys. Some like this will last you long and longer if you take care of it. Now I get it. Funny how we buy new boots and we want it to look patina right away so we use it abuse it but if you don't take care of it it's gonna be patina and it's gonna be broken <laughs> you want a kinda like you know the cars right you have a patina car but with nice shoes and protected patina lasts you longer okay we'll wait for it to dry and then we'll go from there not a pair start the tongue in this one put a little too much right there but the leather loves it because it sucks it up pretty quick now I am not sponsored by Bickmore I bought that with my own money based on a couple of my friends on YouTube that's recommended it and I can tell you that right now at this moment I recommend Big More for your rough and tough leather and I'm gonna use that when I clean my Red Wing again my uh, Iron Ranger definitely gonna use Big More 
kind of expensive bottle here. I think it's about twenty some dollars, twenty two dollars for that. Um, but it's worth it. It is worth it. Now the leather looks good, feels good, nice and soft, but not too soft to where it's just falling apart. You want it just nice and taken care of. Okay, let it dry, buff it, should be clean, good to go. Alright, I like the way it looks, very nice in my opinion. Came out really nice. So, big four. Saddle soap, big four. Now, this pair of boots is gonna last me a little while longer. You'll see it more in my videos. I think this is one of my favorite mock toes right now. Although, I have a few, of course. That's from Thorogood. And you've seen those in my videos, but I don't have this color yet, so I love it. So I'm just using a regular brush, nothing special, just evening it up. Not too shiny, of course, but she looks good already. Just to make sure she looks good. Alright guys, almost at the end of my video here. If you're new to my channel, check it out. I have a lot of videos about boots, salvage, raw denim. That is my style. Style is subjective. You can come in there, take a look at what I got. Use it for your own good. Leave the rest or be like me. No issues. Also make it move uh, videos also make videos of grooming because that's part of being a man anyway if you're new here you gotta subscribe hit the notification bell so every time you upload a video you get a notification I'm trying to do this at least twice in a week I'll probably do two or three times after I go home but no more than that because what's gonna happen is that I'm just putting out videos that's probably not of any quality because I need time to edit videos and things hope you enjoy this video I'm gonna do this one and the last one and then that's it we're done she looks good I'm gonna put a uh, black um, to call that laces. That's what I have for now until I order some leathers from Red Wing. Right, so somebody had asked me to show different ways of how to tie boots. I only know one way, and this is what I do in the military as well, is this, and I don't know what it's called. Pretty easy. Just in the bottom. 
I'm using black because I like the contrast. And this is nylon, really strong for my boots. Well, I don't wear this color boots for work. I wear the tan, but this will be really good for it because I like to cinch this sucker down when I wear them. Okay, so what I'll do is I will do that at the end, at the end of it so it doesn't come off in the hole. Just tie a knot, tie a knot, that's all you gotta do. And that's what we do. Bam. 